Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to change the font on your iPhone 4, your iPhone 4S, and your iPod Touch 4th generation on iOS 5.0 and 5.0.1. The first thing we're going to do is open up Cydium, and you are going to search for VitaFont. As you can see, it's from the Big Boss repo. All you have to do is install, confirm, and where you, when you are prompted, you will either restart the springboard or you will uh, reboot your device. After you do that, you will be able to see this icon on your iDevice. You will open it up, and it is pretty easy from there. You, what you will do is go to Basic, and as you can see, you can see the ones I've, uh, I've downloaded right here. And um, all you have to do to find new fonts is go to Browse, and you'll be taken to the website. And you, as you can see, you can browse them by the Spotlight, the most popular ones, most recent, coming soon, alphabetical, and categories. So what I'm going to do is go on in the Spotlight. Let's just show you guys how to get them. And as you can see right here, it shows you shows you um, some of them. And as, well, as you can see, you can browse the different uh, sections. Let's see if we can do this here. There you go. You see how the front would look. So let's say I wanted to install this one, Made in Orange font. What I would do is just click Install. If I don't like it, I'll just go to the bottom and click uh, Next, and press the next one or Previous. But uh, I'm just gonna install this one just to show you guys. So it'll take me to Cydia, and from here you'll be able to see it. As you can see, Made in Orange font. Cancel. We're gonna install. Confirm. And this is actually pretty fast. It shouldn't take too long. All right. As you can see, the download is complete. It's loading. Now we're going to return to Cydia. All right. Now we're going to go back, and we're going to head to Vitafont. We're going to open that up, and now we're going to head to Basic. Under Basic, you'll be able to see Made in Orange now. What you will do is click it, and you'll it'll tell you that if you want to proceed. Your device will be spraying. Just select yes. Now you simply wait for your iPhone or iPod Touch to um, to restart the springboard to respring. And as soon as soon as it is completed, you'll be able to see the the change in font. As you can see, right up here, you see Enter Passcode now has a completely different font. And now what we will do. Let's head back to VitaFont. It's that easy to change your font. If you want to restore to the original, you simply click, click on the top under Basic. You click Restore Original. But I don't want to do that. This font is actually pretty cool. If you want to try out something else, you can head to Advanced. And you can uh, do it by sections. You can head to Dialer, Keyboards, Notes, Systems, even the Lock Screen. Like You can select which fonts you want for the Lock Screen and change the one for the Keyboards. Alright, so well, that's all for now, you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please rate, comment, subscribe. 